Assalamualaikum. In this video, we will move further with our cutscene animation. So, for that purpose, I have just made some changes, and actually, our main gate of this bus. Actually, you can see the uh, door of this bus here. Uh, the door is uh, to the right side of the bus so we can't uh, you, uh, move this door to and uh, everything we don't have uh, to the left side so i have just changed the uh, overall uh, 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 location uh, the position and uh, we just move this bus to the right side and this bus is actually the other bus this is not the bus with rcc controls that bus is here actually rcc controls and uh, these buses are here and we have added this bus here okay on this stop and uh, we can also add other buses as well so here you can see we have green bus i just have added this blue bus and for time i just disable this and uh, if you you can repeat the same process uh, which we will create uh, for our purple bus so what we can do so the issue is that we want to create a animation so for animation uh, we just uh, moved this door to this side and uh, we want to move our character to the bus okay and uh, it will just uh, reach the bus it will move inside the bus and then it will sit on the seat if we want to animate that as well if you want to do so anyhow let's add animation so for that purpose we will create a timeline if you don't have this timeline uh, option here you can go to window and sequencing and timeline and then you will find this option here and uh, now actually we can create some animations so the very important thing is that uh, whenever we will create animation we can select a character and uh, then we can copy this transform because uh, the trans copying the component is very important because uh, when we will create a timeline animation and we will, we will, we will uh, start recording the animation it will create a problem and our character will move uh, to 000, zero, zero position okay so that's why i just copied the transform positions of this character also this character should have animator controller on it okay it's very important so we are all characters have animated controllers so we can add animations on that so first of all we will create a empty object here okay and uh, i just have added a empty object with the name of uh, buses of for sorry again oh uh, yeah, uh, we will just create an empty object and we'll rename this empty object as uh, we want to do. So let's add purple bus animation. Let's name it like this. Okay, uh, you can name it whatever you want, and uh, then what we will do, we will create a timeline. So now we can just uh, go to animation folder or any other folder and we can just uh, click on save and uh, now you can see this type of timeline here and now we can start animating our characters and our scene so how we can do that so first of all we will add a track here by right click and we will create an animation track here and uh, now we can add our character here whatever we want to animate okay so in this case we want to animate uh, the this character which is the granny character so we'll just drag off this character here okay and uh, now when we will drag off this character here we can click on this option okay this record option and it will start start recording our animation so now what we want to do that we can add our animation clip to this area okay so definitely we will just move this project folder to this side so that we can see this uh, track as well so here we can go to our resources where we have our animations and uh, mix ammo and animations and we have this uh, walking animation here you can see 
so we can just extend this animation and we will just drag off this walking animation over here and now you can see we have this walking animation so now here you can see we just lose our character here because uh, that character is actually available but if we select this you can see the position is changed here okay transform we will not change these transforms in this animation tab i will show you how we will do that so before that we'll just uh, because you can see this walking animation is very small it's not big we can just drag off this animation as well if we want to do so and uh, yeah so maybe something like uh, this okay and now we will just create a transform uh, section so for that purpose we'll just right click here on this sporty granny animation and we will create add our right track and for this uh, our right track we can rename it to maybe sporty position okay like this and now if we click on this tab we can add actually the uh, position of the granny so we will select this granny okay and we will copy paste uh, that past component values and now you can see that our granny is here now moving further we will just move it to the second point so maybe maybe here and then we can move this granny towards the door also we want to rotate it a little bit okay and uh, then again i think a little bit more and then we will just move to one more point here and then here we can just add it to uh, this point we can just to rotate it a little bit as well so like this and then again we'll move it and for this we'll just move it and manually we can move it like this in the bus okay so like this then again uh, we'll just move it a little bit here and uh, at this position we want to rotate it so let's sorry let's rotate it as well again we can move it a little bit more and we can just move it like this and to this point okay and if you want to show your character to be sitting on the uh, seat you can do so but uh, i will not do that so i will just add it here and let's move a little bit more and that's it if we play our animation you will see very nice animation here so let's see so let's play the animation you can see that our granny is moving yeah it's just moving inside the bus and that's great so we have successfully added animation for our granny character okay so in this way we will uh, add some more animations for our these characters and the thing is the similar we will just save this animation and uh, let's create one more animation track okay and for this animation track we can add uh, the second character which is uh, okay this one maybe uh, which is character 42 uh, this one okay and uh, for this we will just move it here and uh, for this character we will again click on this uh, record option and we will just add walking animation here and we will just drag off this animation to something like uh, maybe a uh, big because we want to make it slow uh, a little bit slower than the granny okay uh, also the problem is that uh, you can see the jasper uh, position is also changed so what we can do we can just uh, add the same position of the this character which is the granny position just copy the component and now here we will just uh, add a override track and we will just name it uh, 
CH42 position. This is the character name and uh, then we can click here and uh, on this spot we will select the character uh, 42 and we will just paste the component values and uh, we will just move it a little bit like this ok so this will be the starting position and then we will just move it here maybe ok and for this character we will just move this character a little bit like this here and uh, rotation as well okay and this will be a little bit slower than granny so we'll just move it here and at this spot you can see granny is here and we will just move this character to the to this spot so like this you can just move it here okay and then rotation as well if you want to add and then we can just move it a little bit inside you can zoom in uh, for the accuracy okay if you want to do so it's up to you and uh, then we can just uh, move it maybe here like this and definitely the animation is big for this character so you can just move it like this and it's up to you that what you want to do with this animation uh, if you want to add set animation uh, you can do so by adding a new animation clip here so uh, and then you can add the set animation as well but I will not describe that uh, in this particular video I'm just adding these walking animations to create some uh, better animation like this uh, just uh, the uh, sitting animation like this so now you will see that these characters will move so if we play the animation you will see yeah both characters are moving and granny just jumps out and then the after that we have the other character so in this way I will just add some more animations for these uh, some of these characters as well and uh, then after that we will just uh, move further and uh, we'll see how we'll uh, finalize the cut scene animation uh, that's it for this video and next video we'll move further